I'll come right out and say it. The current lineup of Unify Network switches is fantastic. They seem to have something for everyone, whether you're looking for a small four port gigabit switch or a beefy 48 port 2.5 gig switch with multiple 10 gig SFP ports and PoE and pretty much everything in between. But are we getting to the point where there are too many options? Like what's the difference between an Enterprise 24 versus a Pro Max 24 versus a Pro 24 versus a standard 24? Well, that's what I want to look at today. Why there are so many options and who they're really for. This video was initially going to be a short little review of my Pro Max 24 PoE switch, but as I started writing the script and comparing it to other switches, I thought, man, there's more to unpack here than my childhood therapy sessions. Let's take a high level look at how Unify has their switches categorized in the store. Aggregation, Enterprise, Professional Max, Professional, Standard, and Utility. We aren't gonna go into the aggregation ones because those kind of have their own dedicated purpose and we'll cover utility in its own section. I wanna first talk about the middle four, Enterprise, Pro Max, Pro, and Standard. Each of these categories has four options with 24 and 48 port varieties for the most part, except for Standard. At first glance, it would appear that these are organized from most advanced to least with Enterprise being the best, but I don't really think that's necessarily true. I'd say Enterprise and the recently released Pro Max switches are at the top, followed by Pro then Standard. So what are we working with here? I've been talking for a while and haven't shown a single switch. Diving into the Enterprise line, we see four switches, a 24 and 48 port, each with PoE, an XG, and a Mission Critical. This is where you'll find their most expensive switch in the Enterprise 48 PoE, with 48 2.5 gig PoE plus ports and four 10 gig SFP plus ports. And that comes in at $1,600. That ain't cheap, which means if you buy one, you'll definitely wanna use my affiliate link down in the description. <coughs> Stepping down to the 24 PoE, we'll see the switch I ran for a good while up until a few weeks ago. I love this thing. It's got 12 gigabit ports and 12 2.5 gig ports all PoE Plus enabled along with dual 10 gig SFP Plus ports. I think I said something in one of my videos like, I think that this is the perfect switch for a home lab. Again, not cheap at $800, but for what you get compared to other options, it's not bad, especially with how quiet it runs. Then we have the Enterprise XG, which is a beast with 24 10 gig RJ45 ports and dual SFP 2840 gig ports. No PoE here, which makes stomaching the $1,300 price tag pretty difficult, so make sure you really need all the 10 gig goodness before snagging one. Oh, and FYI, the only piece of network gear Ubiquity has ever sent me was the Pro Max 24, so yes, I bought everything else with my own money. As for the Mission Critical, that's another one with a specific use case with a built-in battery and shit, so I'm not really gonna discuss that. Okay, so y'all have a good grasp on the Enterprise line, right? Lots of 2.5 gig and PoE plus. Let's take a look now at the Pro Max line. Again, we have four options, except this is a bit more standardized with two 24 port and two 48 port options, each with PoE and nine PoE varieties. The big chungus from this lineup is the Pro Max 48 PoE with 16 2.5 gig ports and 32 gigabit ports. However, these are further broken down by PoE type because now we see some big juicy old PoE++ ports. Eight of the 2.5 gig ports and eight of the gigabit ports are PoE++ with the rest being regular old PoE+. Then you get four 10 gig SFP++ ports just like the Enterprise 48 PoE. So let's compare the two because honestly, on paper, I wouldn't say one is drastically better than the other. I mean, you could argue the Enterprise one is better because more money equals more better, but I don't see it that way. Both have 720 watts of total power, 2.5 gig ports and 10 gig SFP plus. With the Enterprise, you do get 48 of those 2.5 gig ports where the Pro Max only gets 16, but the Pro Max has PoE++, which can be a deal breaker if you have PoE++ powered clients in your network. Conveniently, this is what actually made me replace my Enterprise 24 PoE with the Pro Max 24 PoE. In one of my recent videos, I bought a PoE powered mini PC, but then realized it needed PoE++. Conveniently, Ubiquity sent over the Pro Max 24. There was a dilemma though. Like their 48 port big brothers, 
The 24 port versions share the same pros and cons with the Enterprise having more 2.5 gig ports, but the Pro Max getting PoE++. I initially thought I'd rather have the extra 2.5 gig ports, but then I realized I legit have two 2.5 gig clients and the rest of my high-speed network devices run 10 gig from the Enterprise XG. So in this case, the Pro Max won out. Oh, and I haven't even touched the best feature of the Pro Max line, the RGB. But anyway, I'd say the Enterprise line and the Pro Max line are relatively close in terms of hierarchy with each of them being better for certain deployments. This especially rings true considering the Enterprise 24 PoE and Pro Max 24 PoE are the same price. Now they do have non-PoE versions of the Pro Max line which are pretty much the same just without the PoE. So if you don't need PoE at all, the easy choice is the Pro Max line. But guess what? We have two more lineups with the next one being the Pro line. Yeah, there's a Pro and a Pro Max. The Pro line mimics the Pro Max line with the same dual 24 and dual 48 port lineup with PoE and non-PoE versions. The most glaring difference between the two lineups is that you get exactly zero 2.5 gig ports on any of the Pro switches. It's all gigabit outside of the 10 gig SFP plus ports, which are the same. You still get the same amount of PoE++ ports on the PoE models, but the 48 port version only gives you 600 watts of power compared to the 720 watts of its big Pro Max brother. The 24 port versions have the same 400 watt power total though. Honestly, that's kind of it in terms of the Pro line. Obviously it's cheaper across the board since they are objectively lower tier switches than the Pro Max line, but Unless you absolutely know that you don't need any 2.5 gig ports now or in the future, I'd probably pay a little bit more for a Pro Max switch. Then comes the standard line, which as you can probably guess is the entry level tier for your rack mountable solutions here. There are seven models in this lineup, but two of them are Gen 1 models of newer versions, so we're gonna ignore those fossils. And the other is a 16 port option, which is pretty cool. Again, 24 and 48 port options, PoE and non-PoE. Now the big difference here from the Pro line is for the first time we are seeing a switch without any 10 gig SFP plus ports. All the switches in the standard line have replaced the 10 gig SFP plus ports with one gig SFP ports. That means every single port on all of these models is one gig. Along with that, you get fewer PoE Plus ports with 32 on the 48 port model and 16 on the 24 port model. There's also a drop in total power availability with 195 watts on the 48 and 95 watts on the 24. Again, obviously cheaper, but this time I'm taking the cheaper lineup. I think the standard switches are in a good place. These aren't really designed for home labbers who are probably deploying a few devices with 2.5 or 10 gig connectivity. These are for your small businesses and regular users who wanna be in the Unify ecosystem, be able to power their cameras and have enough ports for all their rooms, but don't give a shit about having faster than gigabyte speeds to their devices. For the price, these are solid. And like I mentioned, there's even a 16 port PoE model for only $300. So if I had to rank these lineups, I'd say Pro Max is S tier since it's a bit cheaper and gives you some non-POE options. Enterprise is A tier. Standard is also A tier for the price point and options. Then Pro is C tier because I don't really see why it exists. Now, do these tier lists even matter? No, it's just to bait you guys into commenting how wrong I am. So go do that. Outside of their rack mountable switches, they put everything else in a utility category, which has 15 options, but I only wanna to touch on nine. I'm not gonna go as in depth as I did with the previous categories, but I do think some models in this lineup are worth discussing. Here we have smaller desktop style units ranging from four ports up to 16. The first is their four port Flex Mini. This is just a PoE powered four port gigabit switch and I love it. If you're building out a Unify network, then just buy the five pack of these cause you'll stick them everywhere. Next up is another great option with the eight port light PoE with four PoE plus ports. For around hundred dollars, this is a solid option to keep on your desk for plugging in a bunch of stuff and testing some PoE devices or just daisy chaining a flex mini for even more ports. There are two other eight port options I wanna discuss, the Enterprise 8 and the Pro 8. Sounds familiar, right? I actually have the Enterprise 8 and I love it. 
It has eight 2.5 gig PoE Plus ports and dual 10 gig SFP Plus ports. I'm not gonna go into details since I talk about it in my network walkthrough video, but this guy is used in my network closet since that's where all the rooms in my house terminated. So instead of re-terminating everything to the garage, I stuck one of these in there with a 10 gig fiber backhaul to the rack where everything else lives. The Pro falls into a weird gray area cause you lose 2.5 gig ports in favor of one gig, but you get two PoE++ ports alongside the PoE++ ports, where the Enterprise doesn't have any PoE++. So, strange. Both are solid options and which one you'll get will basically be determined by if you need PoE++ or 2.5 gig. Hopefully not both. Then we have the 16 port Lite PoE, which is a solid option with 16 gigabit ports, with eight of them being PoE plus with 45 watts of availability. For $200, it's decent. I just wish it had more power availability. The next switch is what I think is the best overall value switch in the entire store, and it's the Flex XG, a four port PoE powered 10 gig switch. For $300, you get four 10 gig RJ45 ports and a gigabit PoE in port. Go try to find a 10 gig four port RJ45 switch for under $300. Bonus points if it's PoE powered. I used to run two of these in my setup until I got the Enterprise XG and actually still have them sitting around for when I wanna quickly test 10 gig devices. The last few switches are fairly new and fall into the ultra line. They're all very similar in that they all have seven PoE plus ports and a single PoE in port. They basically differ in how much PoE availability they have. I like the regular ultra model since you can get power to it with a PoE plus plus port and get 42 watts of PoE plus power downstream from that. That means I could take a single cable from my Pro Max to power it, then connect a few cameras from there no need to run all new cables, which may be a lifesaver in certain situations. So let's tier these up again. The Flex XG, Flex Mini, and Ultra RS tier. These are fantastic switches that everyone should consider in their network. A tier has the Enterprise 8 and the Lite 8 PoE. B tier is the Pro 8, 16 Lite, and the Ultra 210 Watt. Then C tier is the Ultra 60 Watt, cause I really don't know why it exists. Again, super pointless tier list, but I know you guys are foaming at the mouth to comment on it, so do it, cowards. I think Unify has an excellent option for any build out right now, but I do think we are getting close to cluttering the lineups. I also think we could benefit from some name changes as I don't think Enterprise, Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra really convey where they're supposed to fall in the hierarchy of things. Standard makes sense, you guys can keep that one. But yeah, that's what I wanted to go over today. I hope it was entertaining or maybe you learned something. If you like this video, then drop a like. If you wanna see more, then go ahead and subscribe. I wanna give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my S tier Unify Switch with so many dummy thick PoE++ ports. Y'all are the best. And if you're still watching, you're an ultra 60 watt. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.